Cincinnati police sergeant who shot and killed a man in Northside. Good evening. Sergeant Andrew Mitchell shot David Abair early Monday after he and two other officers say the highly intoxicated man lunged at them with a knife. We already told you what was in Mitchell's personnel jacket, including a non-fatal shooting for which he was exonerated, and several commendations. Now Deborah Dixon tells us about a tasing incident for which he was disciplined. This is video from then police officer Andrew Mitchell's cruiser as he and his partner go to a burglary alarm run at Jersey Mike's off Glenway Avenue. It's January 2008. As the cruiser pulls in, the officers see a young man in the distance, walking, not running, with his hands in his pocket. They repeatedly tell him to stop. You can't see what happens next, but Officer Mitchell tases 19-year-old Chris Bauer, not once, but twice, the second time when he's down. When the officers pulled Bauer to his feet, they discovered a possible reason why he didn't hear them. Under his body, they found stereo earphones. Bauer was listening to music. That's why he couldn't hear their commands. And that burglar alarm over at Jersey Mike's, it was a false alarm. There was never a crime. There was never a suspect. And we pulled up and ordered a shot a dozen times. In the cruiser, Officer Mitchell talks to Bauer, who's confused. He can't remember anything. The answer is nothing, and that's how the police department saw it. An internal investigation found Mitchell did not follow procedures or training. He did not verify there was a crime, did not get a suspect description, and tasing is for people who are aggressive. Bauer was not and Mitchell was supposed to warn him before tasing him. He lost nine weeks of memory. Chris Bauer Sr. says his son still has memory problems and headaches from the head injury he sustained when he fell to the pavement. He's been thinking a lot about the fatal shooting in Northside. But that could have been my son that got shot. You know, he shouldn't have been on the street. He got a slap on the wrist and he's back out there. Sergeant Mitchell is a respected, decorated officer. Valid Victorian of his recruit class, he was promoted to sergeant last year. What happened in 2008 does not mean Mitchell made a mistake on Monday. Three investigations will determine if pulling the trigger was the right thing to do. Deborah Dixon, Local 12 News. This particular incident is not in Mitchell's personnel jacket because the union contract only allows three years of information to be kept in those jackets. This incident happened three years ago in January.